Hey scientist, I was noticing a few days ago that sometimes when I mix things together, I'm able to pick them apart, like when I put fruit cereal and marshmallows together. Other times when I mix things together, I can't even tell that there are several things mixed in there together, like when I make cookie dough out of eggs, sugar, and vanilla. And then on top of that, sometimes when I mix things into water, they just disappear. What's up with that? Well, let's talk about mixtures and solutions to find out. Let's start by defining things that aren't mixtures. Pure substances are objects that are made up of only one thing. All pure substances have a consistent composition and distinct chemical properties. It can be a single element, like a diamond made out of carbon, or it can even be a gold necklace. Pure substances can also be compounds, like a sheet of glass, salt, or even water. When you combine two or more of these substances, you get a mixture. A mixture is any time you mix more than one substance together. Mixtures are different than compounds. All mixtures can be undone and separated out again. An example of a mixture is if you took rocks and mixed them into sand, or if you mix salt and sugar. I mean, that's a yucky surprise. I don't know why you would do that, but it's an example of a mixture. Mixtures can either be homogeneous or heterogeneous. A heterogeneous mixture is when things are mixed together and the mixture does not have a uniform appearance. Trail mix is a delicious example of a heterogeneous mixture. You can still see and pick out all of the chocolate candies, all of the raisins, and even the nuts from the mixture. Its appearance isn't uniform. Salt and pepper, ice in a soda, and salads are all also heterogeneous mixtures. Homogeneous mixtures have a uniform appearance. This is because the mixture's parts are evenly dispersed throughout the mixture. These mixtures look like a single substance. Cake batter is a really great example of a homogeneous mixture. You've mixed things together like eggs, flour, and sugar, but it has one uniform look to it in the bowl, and you can't pick out any individual substance. Adding sugar into water or adding milk into your coffee are also homogeneous mixtures but sometimes homogeneous mixtures are also solutions. A solution is a mixture where one substance dissolves into another substance. If we look at our homogeneous mixture of sugar and water from before, it's a solution. When we add the sugar to the water, both substances keep their original properties, but the sugar completely dissolves in the water. All sugary or salty mixed drinks are examples of solutions but so is ocean and salt water. Let's take a few seconds to practice. Ooh, blood. When we look at blood, it looks like one object, but if we zoom into it, you can see that it's actually made up of water and several different types of blood cells. So this would be a homogeneous mixture since it has a uniform appearance. Sports drinks. We already talked about sports drinks. We took sugar and some sort of salt and added them to water, and they dissolved inside of the liquid. So this would be a solution. Let's look at one more. We have chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh my gosh, I could pick out all of those delicious chocolate chips and eat them right before I cook the cookies. So this would be a heterogeneous mixture. The cookie dough does not have a uniform appearance. You can easily pick out the chocolate chips from the cookie dough. Let's pause and take a moment to look at some questions. 